Wow. So sound pollution in the ocean is a very real thing. And the most striking example is actually sea animals like whales and dolphins. All of that noise generated by uh, big ships and motorized vehicles that are in the water are damaging their hearing and modes of communication to astounding and scary mm. ways. It's really unfair that we are doing that to the world around us. So now whales are getting lost because they communicate by sending and receiving these uh, sound waves really long distances, miles away. And now you find them lost. They can't find their uh, crew, the rest of their uh, family, if you call it that. Uh, and if they're in a quiet environment, the way they used to communicate before the modern industrial world, they function completely differently. Wow, so sound pollution in the ocean is a very real thing. Very real, yes. Oh. They, they, it's actually messing their navigation. Wow, it's, it's incredible because it, I think the paper was published a few weeks ago that um, light pollution is disrupting the duration over which songbirds are, are singing. Mm -hmm. And it turns out they're singing longer throughout the year than they normally would. And everyone mm -hmm. goes, oh, nice, songbirds. <laughs> but it's screwing up all the, the mating patterns mm -hmm. and the migration patterns. It's mm -hmm. I mean, we may see the eradication of many species, which I, I hope people realize is not just about being able to um, see them in a zoo it's, or, or appreciate a photograph of them. I mean, every animal impacts the ecosystem of another. So exactly. I think it's so important what mm -hmm. you're saying 